Hi, beautiful. You look fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's watch some bleach fails. <laughs> oh, I love a bleach fail, baby. That's my bleach fail dance right there. And one of the bleach fails we're watching today is called the bleach fail to end all bleach fails. So, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> the first video is by Asbestos Lover 666. I hope you don't love asbestos because that just doesn't seem right. It's bad for you. What do you want? What puppy? Want to come see everybody? You trying to talk to me? What do you want? Oh, you want just kisses, huh? Look at your little skinny waist. You like that word skinny? Skinny? You're so out. This is a real ride. You are in for a ride to watch the ride that I went on when I decided to dye my hair. Ooh, that was quite the scene. Her hair in the grave. Her hair is probably gonna break off. Okay. I was so confident. I don't want to say arrogant, but I was confident at the beginning. I wanted to take every precaution and just do it right. Make Brad Mondo proud and oh my god, <laughs> something went terribly, terribly wrong. I love the edited thumbnail that said, I am so proud. Oh God. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be proud today. I want to bleach my waist length, nearly entirely virgin hair, platinum blonde with minimal damage, all at home by myself. Her hair is so long and so dark. This is five years of hair growth. Oh my God. Sorry, I just wasn't expecting her to pick up her hair like that and it to be that long. This is going to be an insane change challenge. Like, even if a professional did this, this would be so much work. All the dark, dark brown hair is virgin hair, and only the little bits at the end that are a bit lighter here have any history of bleach or dye at all. Because I've been growing my hair out for so long, I want to do the best possible job I can to not damage it or make it melt off again or have it turn into a bleach fail video. You failed at that, clearly, <laughs> from the title. So this is my current hair. I love my natural hair color, like the really dark brown color. She is serving. Woo! And it was nice to gain confidence just being in my natural state, not having to rely on vibrant colors, but I'm ready for a change again, you know? Sorry. I'm speechless because she has the nicest hair and I'm already so sad that it's gonna go. <laughs> a lot has been changing in my life, so I think now is the perfect time for a new look. And something just seems so powerful to me and bold about having waist length, just white platinum hair. That hair flip! And also though, oh, I'm so glad that she's coloring it blonde. Like, it's just gonna be majestic with her long hair and it being all blonde. We got some blonde brilliance. It lifts up to nine levels. I'll take it. We got 30 volume. We all know I love 30 volume. 30 volume solves all problems. We got Apogee balancing moisturizing something. All right, we like moisture. We got a deep moisturizing hair mask, okay. And some mysterious toners that I can't see, but they look to be Goldwell or Color Charm. Okay, we have sectioned the hair into four sections. I might have to do this. I'm realizing this is gonna take a long time and I might have to literally do this section by section. I can't really tell if she's starting from the back or the bottom or what's going on, but that was an extreme amount of foil she just put in her hair. But, 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 I'm so happy she's not starting with the root. This is a virgin bleach application. So we can't do that, right? We all know that by now. I'm really happy she's also using foils because she's gonna need that heat. That hair is long, that hair is really dark, that heat is gonna really help lighten that hair. So I have these wrapped up. Um, It is lifting quite a bit. I also just went in now at the roots on this side. I'm so glad she's starting with the back. Yeah. Because everybody always starts with the top of their head and the front. And guess what? It's so hard to then go do the back because you have all this stuff around your face and you're trying to like maneuver thing. It's a mess. But she also went already and did the root, which I'm a little nervous about. That might have been too quick. We gotta wait till the hair on the mids and the ends gets nice and yellow before we then go and do the roots. I might apply some heat as well just to help it lift the a bit more. No, you should never have to apply heat onto lightener. It's not safe and it could result in breakage. 
<laughs> Why did the heat come here? What's with the heat? Okay, so I finished washing out my hair. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting half of it to be black and half of it to be blonde. So it's pretty lifted. She has the darkest hair ever. It looks like it's her hair is colored that dark. Like I wouldn't have expected that to be her natural color. But also the blonde, it looks decent. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but I have a feeling she's not gonna stop there because this is an ultimate bleach fail. It's not like hot roots, but it just got way lighter here. I think cause I was applying a lot of heat with the hair dryer and it just lifted a lot more there. You did it, you applied the heat on the root, which is exactly what we don't wanna do. We don't want to add more heat to the root. Come on. When I'm saturating my hair, like this is how saturated I'm getting my hair. Yes. Finally, somebody saturates their hair enough with lightener. I'm going to foil this up so that is not literally right next to my eye. So it's like 11.30 p.m. Whoa, what a change. She looks like a completely different person. And it actually doesn't look terrible. This is not even a fourth of the way done this video. So I think it's going to get a lot worse. It lifted really well, like more than I expected it to lift. Her ends are really dark though. That's gonna be an issue. This is how the hair is looking. We are now going in with the 7A medium ash blonde to help neutralize all of the orange tones that I have going on in here. A what? We're doing a 7A? That's gonna be really dark. <laughs> that level seven? I think that was permanent color or demi-permanent. I don't know, I can't really tell, but seven is not good for you. And also ash makes it look even darker. So it's gonna look like a level six. You can definitely see that it's toning it, quite an ashy color. I hope it's not so mousy of a brown when it washes out. This is how it mostly turned out. So pretty neutral. It makes it look a lot darker than it lifted to. So I'm not super worried about that because it's just a demi-permanent color. So I'm going to let my hair sit at this color for like two weeks. What? <laughs> That would have been a nice color for your roots, but why did we do the whole entire head with that? I don't know. And she seems like she's cool with it. Apparently she wanted that. I would have done a level like eight and like maybe like a seven or six at the root, you know, to give her that natural, beautiful look. I don't know, something like that, you know, whatever. It's been about two weeks, two or three weeks. And I've just been letting it rest, you know, giving it moisture treatments and stuff like that. And I'm ready now to finally just get the rest over with. So I'm just gonna go in on this side, trying not to touch at the root and try and do a bit of a shadow root. And then I'm gonna go in afterwards and apply a shadow root, but this is just to give it its general shape. I have one side of my head done. Um, oh, shit. Why are we bleaching the top again? Your hair was already blonde. I don't know why she would do that. I just washed out the one side and it's decently light at the top. It's, I don't know if it lifted enough at the bottom. Like it's definitely tonable for sure. Who's gonna tell her that her hair is extremely damaged? I wish that I got a little bit lighter, but now I'm gonna pin it up and do this side. Second side is done and processing. So I'm slightly nervous. This side lightened a lot more because I applied heat for a little bit and then let it sit. Oh my god. She wasn't kidding when she said this is like a bleach fail will all end all bleach fails. She applied heat. I think it's a lot more damaged. <sighs> I need to breathe. <sighs> I'm just a little nervous about how it's gonna turn out. I mean, first of all, it's not, now it's like not completely even because one side's way lighter than the other, but also like I need to really, really take care of this one side because like she's not doing so great right now. I'm so stressed. I don't know how it got so bad from just like two rounds of bleach. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out and it's all gonna be okay. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> So there's this side, and then this side, which lightened way more. <laughs> Her hair is destroyed. Um, oh my God. I hope you're okay now. And if you're watching this video, I don't want to make you feel worse about the issue, the situation, the thing that just happened, but I'm sure you're fine now, right? Because fuck. It was bad. Oh God, I'm getting chills. Every time I see an extremely bad bleach fail, you know it's bad when I get chills. And boy, am I getting them right now. And is like kind of gummy. Like you can see at the ends here, like the ends are not okay. That hair needs to be all cut off. That all needs to go. 
that's not okay and like i can feel bits of it coming off i don't know what was such the drastic difference between sides if it was just that little amount of heat that i applied it was the heat you are not supposed to heat up lightener i believe on the packaging it always says do not apply heat to bleach it's not safe this is scary oh my god no 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 up right now i just want to be okay for her <laughs> why am i crying <laughs> oh my god what the f <laughs> i just feel so bad <laughs> Ow, i have makeup in my eye now i need to figure something out listen girl i hate to break it to you but there's no figuring this out it's gotta be chopped off and it looks like the damage goes up pretty far I have never seen anything like this, and I've seen a lot of bleach fails. She has been sitting there for like four or five minutes of this video, staring off into space, like contemplating like how this all happened. For somebody who hasn't cut their hair in five years, I'm sure this is devastating for her. That's a lot of hair that just is gonna have to go now. I guess it's a bleach fail, yay, wow, you get to see the train ride. And I'm just gonna have to cut a lot of my hair, which I've grown like for five years. I really don't think it's salvageable, but I'm gonna take a good amount of the length off right now because it's just so dead and I don't wanna deal with all of this. Oh, it dried. That's pretty good that it dried. That's when you know it's like never coming back alive ever again. gonna cut that much off okay sucks that i can't donate this if i knew this was all for naught i would have donated this now this is all just garbage hair she cut all of that hair off that was a chop she needed it though things are looking up it's a cute cut i mean let's get it done professionally maybe i would just like add some layers in there or something like you know let's give it a little styling also the layers will really help cut off all those dead ends that you probably still have so get some layering in there that would be great for you Kind of a look. I forgot that I look okay in short hair. It's the bisexual in me, right? It is a look. It looks good. Still need to put on the whole shadow root. I don't know how my hair is going to be able to handle um, toning because that takes developer and I don't think my hair can handle developer right now. Oh, we're not done. Just when you think we're done, we are not. She is gonna do a shadow root and we're still gonna tone the hair. She needs that. But something you gotta know about toning extremely overprocessed damaged hair is that if she puts any natural or God forbid ash in the formula, her hair is going to turn slate gray. Like it's gonna take up all that blue and it's gonna turn gray and it's not gonna give a shit about the gold. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's still pretty damaged, but it's fine. I mean, after the protein mask, it still feels pretty gnarly, but it's attached to my head, which is all that I could really ask for in this area here, which I think you can see kind of some breakage. Yeah, you can see some breakage. Yay. I don't mind the light color hair. I'm still excited for the light color hair. I'm trying to feel good. I'm trying to feel good about it. But deep down, deep down, I kind of feel like a bag of shit. It actually looks good. I don't know how, but I think you should feel good. You did what you needed to do, which is cut all the hair off. I'm gonna be going to Sally's to get the Demi Permanent to do the root blend. I know it's dealing with like 10 volume developer, but it's just depositing color, not going into the cuticle and it's just at the root. So I think it should be okay. You can already tell this is gonna be splotchy up here. I have some purple conditioner in. I have a few more minutes left and then I'll wash it out and blow dry it and see what the final result is there. Okay, so this is how the hair is looking after doing the root smudge and just like quickly toning it with a little bit of conditioner. Feeling a little bit better, a little bit better about it. Um, like I definitely need to like properly tone it. She high key saved that shit. It looks good. I'm so glad she did a shadow root. Also, I'm so glad she toned the ends with just purple conditioner. Basically a semi-permanent color because she does not need any developer on her hair. Okay, so this is my hair. It's been a while. As you can tell, my roots have grown out. What? Oh my God, her hair looks incredible. Um, my roots, I tried to blend a bit with demi-permanent hair dye to make them just flow a bit nicer into each other. Uh, it's always a struggle having super dark roots and then having really light hair 
trying to make things flow nicely and naturally because I don't want to deal with root touch up right now. This is the side that is super damaged. Um, it's still attached to my head, as you can see. I apply heat on it once a week and it holds up. I still do protein treatments occasionally. I mostly just use a lot of conditioner on it. And yeah, it's holding up. It's all I could really ask for it to do, but I am happy with the end results. That's the silver lining here. Dude, I was crying, I was excited, I'm now happy. You really threw me for a loop on this one. That was intense. Your hair looks perfect. The pink, the warm pink, Mwah. great job. No, I can't say that. Take that back. No, not a great job, but glad you got it figured out. That's what we'll go with today. It's been a while since one of these videos were dedicated to one hair fail, but I can't take any more. That was a lot. What? the hell just happened. If you want to check out my hair care or my hair color brand so your hair doesn't end up like that, check it out at xmondohair.com or you can check out the link right down below. That's all for today. You guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.